Hi friends, welcome to Love Medic. Heart, that gives the blood to all parts of the body. Then, who is supply the blood to heart? That is also heart. The heart is also supplied by the heart. That is called coronary circulation. Blood supplied to the heart muscle. Contents of the video. Arterial supply, venous drainage, lymphatics of heart, peculiarities of coronary artery, factors affecting and regulating coronary blood flow. Arterial supply, that is supply by coronary artery. This is the root of iota. The coronary artery arises from root of the iota. This is the root of iota. The coronary artery arises from the root of iota. One is right coronary artery, another one is left coronary artery. First, right coronary artery. That arises from anterior coronary sinus. In iota, see here three dilations are there. This is the anterior coronary sinus. These two sinuses are posterior sinuses. This is the right posterior sinus and this one is the left posterior sinus. Right coronary artery arises from the anterior coronary sinus. Pores of the right coronary artery appear between pulmonary trunk and right auricle. This is the pulmonary trunk and this is on the right auricle. Right coronary artery appears between the pulmonary trunk and right artery and it curves around the right border. This one is the right border. And we terminate by anastomosis with left coronary artery. This one is the left coronary artery branches. Right coronary artery terminated by anastomosis with left coronary artery. Branches of right coronary artery. Large branches and small branches are there. In large branches, marginal artery, posterior interventricular artery. This one is the posterior interventricular artery. These are the large branches. Small vessels are SA node, right conus artery. This one is the right conus artery. Right atrial branch, right ventricular branch. These are the small vessels. Area of distribution. Right coronary artery that supplies blood to right atrium, ventricles, except anterior interventricular growth. This is the anterior interventricular growth that supplied by left coronary artery. Posterior interventricular conduction system except left branch of AV bundle. Left coronary artery. This one is the left coronary artery. It arises from left posterior aortic sinus. This is the left posterior aortic and these are the posterior two sinuses. Left coronary artery arises from left posterior aortic sinus. Courses of the left coronary artery. It appears between pulmonary trunk and the left auricle and it gives the anterior interventricular branch. Interventricular means between the two ventricles. This is the right ventricle and this one is the left ventricle. This artery supplies the anterior. Anterior means in front. The anterior interventricular artery locate in between the two ventricles and the left coronary artery continues as circumflex artery and it curves around the left border. This one is the left border. The coronary artery curves around the left border and run near to the posterior interventricular groove and it terminates by anastomosis with right coronary artery. This is the right coronary artery and anastomosis with right coronary artery. Branches of left coronary artery. Large branches and small branches are the first large branches. Anterior interventricular artery and circumflex artery are the large branches in the left coronary artery. Now, Small branches, conus artery, diagonal artery and marginal artery. These are the small branches of left coronary artery. The area of distribution of left coronary artery. Supplies blood to the left atrium ventricles except posterior interventricular septum. The posterior interventricular septum supplied by right coronary artery. Anterior interventricular septum and left branch of AV bundle are supplied by the left coronary artery. Anastomosis. Anastomosis means 
the connection between the two vessels maybe the both vessels are artery or both vessels are vein or one is artery another one is vein in heart anastomosis in between two coronary arteries or two branches of coronary arteries or deep veins of heart in extra cardiac between coronary artery and vasovasorum vasovasorum means blood supply to blood vessel that is called vasovasorum between the coronary artery and the vasovasorum of aorta or coronary artery and vasovasorum of pulmonary artery internal thoracic artery brachial artery coronary artery and phrenic artery these are the anastomoses in heart coronary artery dominance it is based on posterior interventricular artery based on the posterior interventricular artery it is divided into right dominance left dominance and co dominance right dominance this is the right coronary artery right this is the posterior interventricular artery when the posterior interventricular artery supplied by right coronary artery that heart is called right dominant heart if the posterior interventricular artery is supplied by left coronary artery that is called left dominant heart co dominance co dominant means the posterior interventricular artery supplied by right coronary artery and left coronary artery that is called co dominant heart venous drainage venous drainage in venous drainage we will see the coronary sinus anterior cardiac vein venic arteries minimae coronary sinus the deoxygenated blood from the great cardiac vein middle cardiac vein and small cardiac veins posterior vein of left ventricle oblique vein of right atrium right marginal vein these veins drain the deoxygenated blood from that respective area that deoxygenated blood drain into the coronary sinus and that deoxygenated blood directly drain into the right atrium anterior cardiac vein three small veins run anterior of right ventricle that veins open directly into the right atrium venic arteries minimae venic arteries minimae is the smallest cardiac vein that is also known as sebastian vein the oxygenated blood from the heart directly drain into that cavity that is venic arteries minimae it is the alternative path of venous drainage of myocardium lymphatics of heart right trunk that drain from the right atrium diaphragmatic surface of the right ventricle and these are passed to the brachiocephalic node and the left trunk that is drain the left atrium and the ventricle that is taken by tracheobronchial lymph node this is the right trunk this is the left trunk question time coronary artery divided into a right coronary artery and left coronary artery b circumflex artery and posterior interventricular artery right coronary artery and left coronary artery right coronary artery arises from anterior coronary sinus left coronary artery arises from left posterior aortic sinus in right dominance posterior interventricular artery arises from right coronary artery now the peculiarities of coronary circulation coronary blood flow during diastole the coronary blood flow increase during diastole and decrease during systole anastomosis anatomical anastomosis means when the blood supply from one artery is blocked then that area is supplied by another artery that anastomosis with the artery that is called anatomical anastomosis end artery anatomical end artery means when the blockage in the blood vessel that area undergoes necrosis why because it does not supply by another blood vessel so that is called end artery functional end artery means when one blood vessel is blocked but it anastomosis with another blood vessel but that supply not enough to that area that is functional end artery 
high capillary density. Normally, the minimum amount of capillaries are present in the muscle. But in cardiac muscle, there is a lot of capillaries are there. That is one of the peculiarities of heart. High oxygen extraction. It has lot of capillaries. It extracts lot of oxygen. Metabolic regulation. When the heart needs extra amount of blood, the blood vessel that will be relaxed. Then it gives the blood to heart. When the heart needs minimal amount of blood, then the blood vessel become constrict. It is regulated by own metabolic regulation. Coronary vessels are more susceptible to atherosclerosis and degeneration. Why? Because the heart pump the blood, so it works fastly, so the turbulent blood flow may occur. That's why the coronary vessels are susceptible to atherosclerosis and degeneration. Peculiarities of coronary circulation are blood flow during diastole. Normally, the heart gives the blood to every organ during systole, but in coronary blood vessel, blood flow during diastole. Because if the contraction is occur, the blood vessel become constrict. So, when the heart is relaxed, it increases the coronary blood flow. Anatomical anastomosis, end artery, high capillary density, high oxygen extraction, metabolic regulation, coronary vessels are susceptible to atherosclerosis and degeneration. Question time. Coronary blood flow during diastole. Coronary blood vessel is dash end artery. Functional end artery. Factors regulating coronary blood flow. Physiological factor, chemical factor, neural factor, hormonal factor and reflexes. First physiological factor. Physical diastolic aortic blood pressure. Coronary blood flow directly proportional to aortic blood pressure. Directly proportional to means if one is increased, another one is also increased. That is the directly proportional. If the aortic blood pressure increase, it also increases the coronary blood flow. If the aortic pressure decreases, the coronary blood flow also decreases. Heart rate. If the heart rate is increased, the diastolic period, diastolic period, which means the relaxation time, that is also decreased. The coronary blood flow also decreases. Cardiac output. The cardiac output also regulates the coronary blood flow. Coronary blood flow is directly proportional to cardiac output. If the cardiac output is increased, it can increase the BP in the iota. So, inhibition of the vasoconstriction. Then what will occur? Coronary blood vessel dilation. When dilation is occur, it increases the blood flow. Chemical factors. Local hypoxia. Local hypoxia means decrease the oxygen supply. If oxygen supply is reduced in the heart, then carbon dioxide level is increased. It causes increase potassium and adenosine in cardiac muscle. It causes coronary vasodilation. If the blood vessel is dilated, it causes increased coronary blood flow. Drugs, nitrates, aminophilin, or caffeine, these are increase the coronary blood flow. If we drink coffee, we have some kind of relaxation, right? That is because of the caffeine. That caffeine present in the coffee. Neural factor. One is direct, another one is indirect. First direct. Parasympathetic stimulation and sympathetic stimulation. When parasympathetic stimulates the vagus nerve, it dilates the blood vessel. Sympathetic nor epinephrine that stimulates the alpha receptor so that causes vasoconstriction. Epinephrine it acts on the beta receptor so it causes vasodilation. Indirect 
sympathetic stimulation that increase the heart rate. It increases the heart rate and myocardial contractility. Because of the metabolism, the vasodilation is occur. It increases the coronary blood flow. Hormonal regulation, thyroxine that increases the coronary blood flow. Vasopressin that is antidiuretic hormone that decreases the coronary blood flow. Reflexes. Antrips reflex is the venous tenacity increase. It increases the pressure in the right atrium. So it increases the coronary blood flow. In gaso coronary reflex, when we eat, it is the stomach becomes distant. So it causes vasoconstriction. So it decreases the coronary blood flow. Blood flow is increases by parasympathetic stimulation, metabolism, thyroxine, diastole, and drugs. It increases the blood flow by vasodilation. It decreases the blood flow. Sympathetic vasopressin, high heart rate. It decreases the coronary blood flow by vasoconstriction. Factors affecting coronary blood flow. Exercise, emotion, hypotension, temperature. These are affect the coronary blood flow. Question time. Coronary blood flow increased during diastole, parasympathetic stimulation that causes vasodilation. Thanks for watching.